what up? Let's see here. Oh, Anthony motherfucker Joshua. What's next, big homie? What's next for you? Well, what's next is for him to get off his ass. What's next is for him coming out saying what he want to do. You know? And handle his business. The only thing there is for him to do is to rematch Andrew Ruiz. Anything less than that is uncivilized. Now, I know why they want the fight to be up over there. In the UK. I know why they want that. So he can feel comfortable. So when we're having all these anxiety, panic attacks, or whatever they want to say, attack that he have it. So they can get that rectified. But, like Andrew Ruiz said, like he stated, he called the shots now. You can't go around here saying that Anthony Joshua has this, blah, 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 whoop, whoop, he can do this and that a third. And, not, and, and then not give Andrew Ruiz that same respect. You know what I'm saying? The same respect is you giving Andrew Ruiz. Fuck that, man. I'm going to the bait shop. See, see if he up over there. I'm going to go to the bait shop, man. I'm a, uh, I might end up getting some shiners or um, some worms, something. I'm going to throw this pole out. I already got him on deck. Oh, man, you ain't going to go? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so kindly, even though you had to ride away, my brother. But anyways... That's the only thing that's next for him. Ooh, girl, I'm like, yeah, that's right. You got to walk. She got some hips on her. That's what I'm talking about, young lady. That's what you do. That's what you do. You get out here and you exercise and shit. But anyways, Anthony Joshua, man, that's all he got to do, man. That's all he got to do. Now, if you need to see somebody to fix his anxiety issues and stuff like that, ain't nothing wrong with... We're going out there seeing a strength or seeing somebody to get that worked on and fixed and stuff like that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with feeling nervous before a fight. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know what he got going on in his life, but obviously with everything that was going on in his life, I guess it came and bit him in the ass in that motherfucker ring. But anyways, you know, he need to go ahead and go ahead and get on the mic, get on the twit, get on something, and just let it know what it is. Be like, yeah, man, I'm, this is what I want. I want to rematch this guy. Blah blah blah. Woo woo woo. Because with all that that stuff they were talking about with the anxieties and tax and stuff like that, it was it was obvious that him knocking down Andy Ruiz and still putting up somewhat of a fight in that fight that he was there was you know he was still in the realm of he was he still able to at least to c compete to try to win that fight you know as far as what I can see he just happened to uh, have some mis mental issues that obviously affected him in the ring and stuff like that I mean that's what everybody's saying you know so it's just sad he can he could come back from this, you know. You know he could come back from this, you know. Like everybody say, like, you know, especially, especially the the people that want to give out the excuses are saying that, you know, oh he could come back for this. That's the first thing y'all gonna say when the mother when he lost. Oh he could come back for this, just one loss. Yeah, he come back for it. But the way he looking like and the way he talking and stuff like that, he's acting like he don't he don't want to. You know. He's acting like he don't he don't want to do it. Now, him saying that I don't care. Look, let me tell y'all something. One thing one thing I don't know I don't like about police is is that 
as soon as you start telling them about laws and shit like that, yeah, I need to I need to change my fucking oil separator. That motherfucker bleeding in too much air into my engine. Um, you know the whole. I don't know if I have a rematch clause or not. He didn't read his contract. Let alone, I don't. He didn't sign it. Sad. You mean to tell me? With all we've been saying, with all that you've been seeing in your whole career, from Crawford, Andre Ward, uh, the list goes on and on with lawsuits. You know, Pacquiao. Um, the list goes along and on with, with, with lawsuits. The main thing about it was with all these lawsuits, it kind of seemed like these fighters didn't know what was going on behind them scenes. The fighters didn't read that contract properly. And then later down the line, they ended up finding out that they were afforded, they were afforded, they was afforded something rights of disclosure and stuff like that and making sure that the promoter and the manager and everybody's not stealing from him this guy did not read his shit the, the, you, your, your promoter gets on the mic and says I think Joshua can't do this without me he can't do it without me what you mean he can't do it without you oh it's just too much blah 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 I guess that's what he was saying It's too much for his little bitty pea brain to handle. He can't function without me. Can't function without me. I'm his daddy. I adopted the motherfucker. So much for him. He can't even read this contract without, without sweat. Without getting motion sickness and shit. You know, I guess that's what he meant. Can't do it without me. On that note, shout out to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.